Kevin? Our next Hall of Famer to be inducted this evening is Cheryl Vigo from softball. And here yeah. to speak about Cheryl is her friend and former Queens teammate, Danielle Batagli. Tell us about your memories of Cheryl from uh, before and during your time as a teammate here. Um, well, I played against and with Cheryl in softball since we were like 10, 11. She's always stuck out with the bunch. I've got to see a lot of home runs that haven't landed yet. Um, and, uh, you know, we're here to celebrate her statistical accolades, but um, the thing that I remember most is a great teammate that she was. Uh, always kept things light, joking around, uh, especially when we paid, played at Delphi, our biggest rival. Um, and then in between the lines, she really just got to business. Um, one memory that sticks out, we, we were playing at Concordia, and uh, the coach went out, Brian, to uh, get the ground rules. And uh, he said, well, what about over there? And the young said, don't worry. Nobody ever reaches those houses. We don't have to worry about it. And uh, Cheryl hit it clear over that house that we didn't have to worry about. <laughs> um, but like I said, uh, she was just such a great teammate. Um, also, too, like I said, uh, you know, she can go up and hit a home run or lay down a bump, whatever we needed. And um, we just had a really great time there for four years. You, you talked about her uh, athletic uh, success. Uh, I mean, we, we saw it on the, on the screen, but... Uh, All-American, two-time Silver Knight Award winner, biggest honor for a student athlete at Queens, Conference Player of the, winner, uh, of the Year, uh, Conference Championship. Uh, you talk about the qualities she had of keeping things light. Uh, you also, when we were speaking, you also mentioned that she was a, a leader in her own way also. Yeah, um, when we stepped out there, it was, uh, you know, she pushed us through her her leadership, not in a rah-rah way, but more of let's get out there and let's get at it. You know, uh, she'd go out there and hit a home run and rally the team and everyone would be pumped and ready to go. And um, just just her presence on the field, like I said, getting to business in between the white lines. So. Well, that's a great tribute for a teammate and a friend. Uh, Danielle, thanks for uh, helping share some of your thoughts. We now would like to ask Cheryl Vigo to come up and accept her all fame award.
and all the other honorees. It's really such an honor to receive this award tonight. Really quickly, I'd just like to thank my parents uh, for always being my biggest fans. Without your love and support, I'm not sure I would be standing here tonight. Not only have you both helped me to achieve this honor, you've also been a driving force behind the woman and the mother that I've become today. I'd like to thank my friends who have also come to celebrate with me. It might be hard always finding the time to get together with all of our hectic schedules, but with all of you guys being here, it really means the world to me. To my coach, Brian, Coach K, <laughs> uh, we had some awesome years together. I had the honor of playing under you for four years. My sports career at QC will never be forgotten. Our softball success together has left me with so many fond memories that I'm going to talk about for many years to come. Thank you for always believing in my talent. I was always happy and proud to take the field for your team. Uh, lastly, a little message for my favorite little person, my daughter Adriana. When I told you about this accomplishment, you were so happy for me. I'll never forget the proud smile and the huge hug that you've given me. I have no doubt that you too will be able to achieve anything you want in life. You are an amazing little girl, and I love you to the moon and back. Thank you so much for your time. Congratulations to all the other honorees. And let's go Yankees. <laughs>